Even if she go away, even if she go away, I'm a classic man. Welcome back to my channel, it is your boy Manny and I am back with another review. I am going to be reviewing the 2017 Billboard Music Awards, which was held on Sunday 21st of May, which was yesterday, at the T-Mobile Arena. So the hosts for the night were Vanessa Hudgens, which was her first time. You could tell she was nervous at the beginning, but she did a phenomenal job. I think they even told her during the show that she can come back for next year's one as well. She did a very great job. And Ludacris also hosted with her. It wasn't his first time, so he was very comfortable. He did his job well as well. So I'm going to be going through the highlights of the show for me. I, I'm not going to dress other artists, maybe because I wasn't interested in their performance or their look. I'm going to start off with Nicki Minaj, who did not walk the red carpet because she was opening the show. And I think that was a smart move because if you've watched her My Time Again documentary, I think it was the MTV VMAs, I think, she performed two songs. She performed Anaconda. It was meant to go and change. Um, joined Jesse J and Ariana Grande for Bang Bang but they couldn't put her outfit on on time so she went on stage her dress was open but she had to hold her dress closed so that so that her breast and her coochie was not going to be in the open so I think it was smart that she didn't walk the red carpet because that would be too much havoc like just make it as stress free as possible she had a nine minute slot which she used to perform a medley it started off with a tribute to herself I don't know if she thought she was going to win the Chart Achievement Award so she wants to be a little bit like creative showing why she deserves it but she didn't win the Chart Achievement Award. So there's kids dressed up as her in different eras, so the Super Bass era, um, the Monster era, etc. She started off her actual performance with No Frauds, with Lil Wayne, that is not really, it's a, it's a, it's a cute song, but it's not really my favorite song. We all know that song was a reply to Remy Ma's um, this track, Shifa. Then she performed Light My Body Up with David Guetta in the background. I don't really like her singing that much, but sh that song is lit. Then she performed Swallow with Jason Derulo. He kind of messed it up with his vocals. I don't think he was ready for the performance because he kind of messed it up. I wasn't here for it. But I think that's her best verse so far this year because she's done a lot of features this year that I've not really liked. But that verse, Ayo, bag yeah, let's run and in words of the day. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there today. Then she performed Regret In Your Tears, which is a song about Meek Mill. Um, I like the lyrics, but I don't like the singing. You know? I will give the performance a 3.5 out of 5 because she was out of breath towards the end, number one. Um, they're not my favorite songs, as I've said already. She looked beautiful, so the beauty carries the 3.5. She did change her outfit and she did sit with Drake and Lil Wayne. So it's clear that her and Drake have officially squashed their beef and he did win an award where he addressed. He said something along the lines of, he's glad that they didn't allow what happened behind the scenes to affect them and yeah, I'm happy for them. So this leads me on to Drake who won 13 bloody billboard awards breaking Adele's record of the most awards won in one night. I will understand if more life won that amount, but I feel like, as I said in my main phase video, I don't like views. It's got bangers, I'm not gonna lie, it's got bangers, but as an album, as a whole album, I, I wasn't here for it. He won over Beyonce, over Rihanna, it's like, okay, that's like, so some of the categories that he, I'm looking at my phone so I don't, I don't give you the wrong categories. So some of the categories that he won was top rap album, which he, he won over J. Cole and DJ Khaled. He won top Billboard 200 album over Lemonade, Anti, Starboy. He also won top Hot 100 artists over Rihanna, The Weeknd, 21 Pilots, Chainsmokers, who I don't really care for, as well as top streaming artists over Designer, Rihanna, 21 Pilots, The Chainsmokers again. Congrats to him for making history and for breaking Adele's record. He also performed Gail Chester in The Fountain and listen, <laughs> that performance was lit. Like, see, if he won awards for the album, More Life, I'll be here for it 100%. He had already won 10 awards prior to the award show itself, so he only needed three to beat um, Adele's record, so that he won the three during the show. I wasn't here for his outfit before the performance because it looked so casual. He looked like he was just going somewhere for fun. Like, no, you don't do that. Camilla Cabello, I never thought in my life I'll mention her name on my channel. She did walk the red carpet in a red dress that I didn't really like on her. I feel like Billboard tried to make her the woman of the night because she was all over their page on Twitter. But she did perform her single Crying in the Club. I didn't watch it because my live stream was playing up. But I've listened to the song itself and it is amazing. I believe Sia wrote the song because anytime Sia writes her song and gives it to someone else, 
they take they have that CA influence in their vocals, such as Rihanna with Diamonds, Beyonce with Pretty Hurts. So it's a lovely debut single. I hope the song does well because it's a nice song. I'm not gonna be a hater and say it's not nice whilst it's nice. Next up we have Ed Sheeran who represented the UK and performed Castles on the Hill. He did a great job. I did not think people would know that song like that. People were singing that song in the audience. Congrats to him on a successful performance. Celine Dion performed My Heart Will Go On and when I tell you, tears were flowing down my face. I don't know if it's because of her situation where she lost her husband and her brother or the fact that the song reminded me of my childhood. I don't know, but that was such a touchy performance. I did notice that they took the key down a little bit, but she still delivered an amazing performance. She looked beautiful in her white gown and she took pictures with Drake at, backstage as well. So I just love Celine Dion. There's something about her that I just love and just seeing her perform that song. Like I said, the lyrics means a lot to her at this present moment in time. I will give Celine Dion's performance a 5 out of 5 because that one touched my heart. Next up we have John Legend who wore a tartan print suit. He also performed a ballad Surefire and performed with Taylor Hubbard and Brian Kelly. I don't know who they are but they performed a song called Holy. I will give that performance a 4 out of 5. They, they did very well. They sounded amazing but I know the song so I will give it a 4 out of 5. Next up, we have the iconic Cher who won the Billboard Icon Award. Let me just start off by saying she looks amazing for 71. She came on the stage, she performed Believe. I know the ladies call it pasties to cover their nipples, but her basically her tatters were out and she was wearing some like strings and of some like, I don't know how to describe it. A picture will be up so you can see. After she performed Believe, she also performed If I Could Turn Back Time and then she got her award. She was very humble and I think she's been in the industry for over 50 years so she does deserve this award. So you know I've got to incorporate Rihanna in this video. So Rihanna did not attend or win any awards but obviously her presence in this industry has really inspired people to the point that they've even stolen her melody. I guess you know where I'm going to now. This girl, Hel Helsley Hashley, what's her name? The one that H A L S E Y, I, I, I can't pronounce her name. She performed a song, I forgot what it's called. I'm not gonna give that song even any attention. I, I've never listened to her, apart from that song Closer with um, the Chainsmokers, I've had to hear in uni over and over again. I don't listen to her music. So I was watching the performance now, I was about to put it on mute. And I'm hearing this song, I'm hearing the melody, and I'm like, this song sounds like Needed Me. I was like, wait, this is not. This is not a Rihanna cover, because this is not Rihanna's lyrics. And let me sing Needed Me over the song. And this song is the exact melody. Like, you can put Rihanna's vocals over the song and it will fit perfectly. They didn't even try to change the timing of the song. There was an article that said that Rihanna's sound is the most influential, and I believe it now. I believe it. Like, there's so many people taking her sound. You know what they say, imitation is the greatest form of flattery, so what can we do? Listen, Bruno Mars performed Versace on the floor and... <sighs> This guy, I'm telling you, he is the man of the moment. I believe he's one of the greatest male performers of our time right now. Because listen, and this guy's vocals, his stage presence, he sang the song and he delivered. I missed it during the actual live show because I was tired as hell. But I woke up this morning, I saw it all over the TL. I didn't, I didn't even have to even go and, I didn't have to go and look for it. It was, it was on the TL and <sighs> Bruno, uncle. Did a good job. Former Pussycat Doll leader Nicole Scherzinger was also in attendance. I didn't really like her red carpet look because it looked very casual. It looked like she was going to a barbecue. But her outfit that she wore to present an award was... She's very beautiful nonetheless anyway. I also about this guy. His name is Lil Uzi Vert. I don't know how to say his name. I've, I've only heard about this guy through Bad and Bougie. Um, I don't know if he did that song, Push Me To The Edge, All oh, My Friends Are Dead, please. That song, I rebuke it first of all. That song itself, I rebuke it. People really have been getting on to him. He didn't really, I don't think he won an award. Did he win an award? He just attended the award show and I was, I like his look. If I had his confidence, I'll wear it. I decided to bring him up because I feel like people have really been getting on to him. There's been a lot of backlash with his outfit choices. Yes, some of his outfits are not the best. Okay, for me, it's not even about it looking feminine. It doesn't look nice, point blank. I'm talking about the one that he was wearing some pink and black stripe. I didn't like it. I like it. If a female or a male wore it, I would not like it. But I can't stand how these males in the industry are coming for him for his outfit choices. Has he forced it on you? I want to know, has he forced the outfit on you? How, like, what is he doing to disturb your life? It's his choice to wear what he's wearing. Like, how does his outfit choices have anything to do with you? He's not a rock star, he's a hip hop artist. Stop trying to f give him another label because it doesn't fit to your stereotype of a hip hop artist. Please. That pissed me the hell off. I said, like, no. Times have changed. These baggy tracks they used to wear back in the day has gone out of style, clearly. Leave him the hell alone. Like, I can't stand the bullying. Like, 
This guy is just doing what he loves. Like, he's wearing what he wants. He's doing what he loves. How does that... Oh, please. Don't get me started. The Why is your masculinity so fragile? Uh, let me know. Like, please, tell me. Because it doesn't make a sense. <laughs> like, God, it's really irritating. I, I can't stand... I can't stand this 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 situation. Like, it's, it's, and it's mainly in the black community. I don't hear people outside of our community talking about this. Leave him alone. Let him be him. Oh, please. So that really that really pissed me off. I'm I'm really annoyed. I think was it Tyrese that I saw talking again? Tyrese making a whole essay, a whole dissertation on Instagram about it. The award show itself, I would give it a free out of five. Because they did have good artists there. They had Drake, they had Bruno Mars, they had Nikki. But a lot, I had a lot of the show on mute because I didn't really like some of the artists, like the Chainsmokers, bye. Who else was there? Miley Cyrus, bye. I love my, don't get me wrong, I used to love Miley Cyrus. But her recent statements about hip hop, no. I, I can't mess with you if you're gonna use our culture just to get up and then when you, when you get what you want, you, you make us seem like trash. You can't blame us for your change in personality when you can't be tamed with not a hip hop song, but you've already started changing. Don't come and use our culture and the hip hop genre as an excuse for how, how you were. You were how you, before the We Can't Stop era, before the um, Bangers era, you started changing from Can't Be Tamed. Can't Be Tamed is not a hip hop song. What's that other song? Who Owns My Heart? That was not a hip hop song. You started changing there, so don't come in. I like her song a little bit. I'm not gonna be a hater. I like it, it, it was a cute performance. I'll see if I put a picture up of her, like, I just don't know. She worth my time, cause re she really did make me feel some type of way with that statement, I was like, Come on. Lord also attended the award show. I really enjoyed her green light performance. It was it was lovely. Julia Michaels also performed her song Issues. I love that song, but that performance, I don't know if she was nervous or in her feelings, but what was that squeakiness that she was doing? What does that mean? I was like, I was like what? Do you need water? I was like, okay. Oh. <laughs> I was so I was so confused. I love that song, but she really messed it up. Designer also attended the award show. I like the color of his suit, and he he won top rap song and top streaming song for Panda. Well deserved. That song was a banger. That rhymes. Panda banger. So that concludes my review on the Billboard Music Awards. As I said, these were my highlights. So obviously, if I didn't mention some people's names, it's because they were not that relevant to me. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as I say on my channel, don't forget to always do you and be unapologetic.